What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Chill, where I Graham G. S. Matthews break down all the original content they watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the January 29th, 2024 edition of Raw Talk. Megan Morant, Matt Cam running down the biggest headline from Monday's show, including replaying the Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins segment from about halfway through the show. Cody Rhodes about to confirm which champion he was choosing in WrestleMania. No duh, it was going to be Roman Reigns before Rollins came out, trying to convince Cody of choosing him instead for the World Heavyweight Championship. Ultimately, unsurprisingly, it will probably not be successful, but they can try to tease us. It might be Rhodes and Rollins instead. Rhodes has never lost to Rollins before. Rollins has that kind of... Uh, you know, demon to exercise with Cody and wanting to beat Cody to retain his championship, blah, blah, blah. It will be Cody and Roman, but they're doing a good job of trying to drag it out and make you think it might be Cody and Rollins instead. And then Matt Camp assesses Cody Rhodes' options with going with Roman Reigns and why it should be Roman Reigns, the WWE Championship, the belt that Dusty never held. Because it was funny because... Rollins had mentioned during the promo on Monday, oh, this is the championship that Dusty held, which it really wasn't. Similar design, not the same lineage, the World Heavyweight Championship, WCW slash NWA World Heavyweight Championship, two totally different things. But I could see what he was trying to say. The whole point of Cody going after the WWE Championship two years ago, last year, and now, and now, you know, going into WrestleMania 41, or 40 rather, hopefully not WrestleMania 41, hopefully by that point he's already won the championship and it happens at WrestleMania 40. But the whole point of him saying that was because the WWE Championship was the only title that eluded Cody Rhodes. So why would he then go for the championship his father already held? That just doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyway, we hear from Ivar and Valhalla backstage. They just kind of keep it short and sweet by saying their WrestleMania voyage will go through Alpha Academy. For some reason, I know they've been feuding in recent weeks. I thought we already saw this feud a few months ago. Maybe I'm thinking of Alpha Academy and another team or New Day in Viking Raiders. I don't remember, but I thought we already saw this. Anyway. Um, that feud is not yet over, so there is that. They then recap the Intercontinental Championship matchup between Gunther and Kofi Kingston. Great match. Gunther retains. Matt Camp acknowledges how Gunther is approaching 600 days as of, I think, tomorrow as the Intercontinental Champion. So an amazing feat, to say the least. They then recap the Judgment Day successful WWE Tag Team title win over the DI or over DIY. And what was a really, really good match. Uh, we hear from J.D. McDonough, of all people, afterward. None of the rest of the members of uh, Judgment Day, just J.D. And he says that our truth was never in Judgment Day. He had to make that clear here. And he says that beatdown of truth on Raw on Monday was cathartic for him. And it brought an un, or, or rather unnecessary evil to the group. Not an unnecessary evil. In his own words, a necessary evil to the group. And he had to remind everyone who the Judgment Day is. Matt Camp says that J.D. McDonough needed that more than anyone to kind of prove that he is indeed a definitive member of the group. And truth is not to kind of prove himself to the fans, the audience, and the group itself. Uh, we hear from Nia Jax, and she says that she will take Rhea Ripley's championship at Elimination Chamber, and she'll see Bailey at WrestleMania if she's not too scared to choose her. Uh, and that was kind of it from Nia Jax, and she says, thanks, Jackie, or bye, Jackie, or whatever it was. Listen, I've never been a Nia Jax fan, but I do agree with what Triple H said the other day at the press conference. I think he said it there. This is definitely the best run Nia has ever been on. And you might argue, oh, that's a low bar to begin with, and you're probably not wrong. Um, but I do think they've utilized her well, and to her credit, she's held her own in these matches, having decent matches, being booked well, handled well, protected well, and the interviews are also getting better too. So I thought this was fine, ac accomplished what it needed to. Decent stuff on Raw as well with her, you know, going after Rhea Ripley, and hopefully we do get Nia and Rhea Ripley at Elimination Chamber. With Rhea probably being the biggest babyface in the world on that show in Australia, her native country, why would they not do Rhea and Nia on that show? And then to close it out here, they recap the, uh, or, or rather replay the opening segment with CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. Punk getting attacked by McIntyre, confirming Punk's uh, legitimate injury, tearing his uh, triceps at the Royal Rumble, which fucking sucks. So they replay the opening segment, McIntyre's beat down a Punk, and also recap the Drew McIntyre uh, win over Sami Zayn in the main event. Matt Cam says that Drew, as much of a fan as he is of Drew and how he's been supporting him along the way, he's made that quite clear in social media, he said he is going about things the wrong way, is Drew McIntyre, but he might be doing what he needs to do to get himself involved in the World Heavyweight Championship match at the Royal Rumble. And then to close it out, they plug Bailey and Naomi for the bump coming up on Wednesday. Decent stuff here. Quite a random collection of guests between Nia Jax, J.D. McDonough, and then Ivar and Valhalla, but... They all serve their purpose. It kind of feels like a lot of people have a definitive direction going into WrestleMania, which is great. 
Uh, and we're kind of seeing that right now in Raw. I really enjoyed Monday's Raw. I thought we had some great promos, some really good matches, a lively crowd. I enjoyed Monday's Raw. The punk injury fucking sucks. I'll talk more about it in detail on WrestleRant Radio this Thursday. In addition, everything else that we saw, the Royal Rumble Raw and, you know, all the other shows coming up by that point. She plugs. So thank you guys for checking out my Raw Talk review for this week for January 29th, 2024. I appreciate it. Have an awesome week, folks. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.